ninth chapter and the 13th verse it says keep thee far <laughs> keep thee far from the man that have power to kill yeah let's read this again it says keep thee far from the man <laughs> that have power to kill and this would apply to none other than Esau the so called white man himself now, how do we know he was given power to kill because of his blessing which again is the sword he wasn't given the sword to promote life. No, he was given the sword to take peace from the earth. This man was given power to kill. See? Again, it says, Keep thee far from the man that have power to kill. So shalt thou not doubt the fear of death. And if thou come unto him, make no fault. Least he take away thy life presently. Remember that thou goest in the midst of snares. <laughs> Remember that thou goest in the midst of snares and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city, which will be the shadow of death. And these snares and pitfalls and traps that has been laid was laid by none other than Esau, the cunning hunter himself. Now, with that established, how would this man forge this war, if you will, that he has waged against the children of Israel through his legislations, his laws? his media, his rhetoric, which is nothing more than a war cry, <laughs> pretty much justifying this man coming after you. And the stage is set for this man to fulfill that lust for the blood of the children of Israel. See? Which brings me right here to the book of Psalms, the 31st chapter. And starting at the 15th verse, it says, My times are in thy hand and understanding this idea brings a certain level of comfort understanding that the heavenly father through his hand